Hello everybody. I'm sure many of you are really, really worried about what you're reading on the debt market right now. Franklin Templeton has decided to wind up some of its schemes. That's the low duration fund, the dynamic accrual fund, the credit risk fund, the short term plan, the ultra short term plan and the opportunities fund. What's very worrying is that even schemes like the ultra short term fund and the low duration fund, which are meant for parking surpluses, have been bound up. Now, why has this happened? Uh, Templeton has always been following a high risk strategy where they have been buying lower rated bonds, even in the lower duration funds. And what's happened is that because of the liquidity crisis, they're not able to get their money back. The fact is also that the debt markets have been very illiquid at this point in time, and hence the fund has decided to wind up. So what does this mean for you as an individual? What it really means is that you cannot access your money at this point in time. Uh, the fund is going to pay you back when it actually gets the money back. So um, I think it's going to be quite a long wait. Um, also, um, you have to wait. Uh, you know, So for example, in the ultra short term fund, the average maturity is seven and a half months, which means that I don't think that you can really get your money back before seven and a half months. And um, so you're pretty much stuck out there at this point in time. Uh, if you had parked money there for doing a STP into an equity fund, well, you can't do that anymore. Um, and of course, as I said, you cannot withdraw your money as well. Um, what do you need to do now as an investor? Well, we've always been saying that the extra return comes at a price. And the price is the risk that you take on this particular investment. I have found many investors have looked at past returns and invested into the credit risk category. Do remember, this cannot be a core allocation, just like how you're not going to go and invest into a cooperative bank FD uh, because of the risk involved. Similarly, please do not get into a fund just because it's giving a 1% to 2% higher return. Understand the risk associated and only if you're willing to take the risk, then invest in such funds. As such, I would recommend please stick with the ultra short term, low duration and the short duration strategies. Within these strategies, please evaluate funds based on their portfolios. Look at funds which have higher allocation to AAA holdings. Um, and of course, compare them versus the category average as well. That is what I would recommend. So on your existing debt fund portfolio, please go through the funds you have, understand what sort of a strategy they follow, what is the sort of risk that they're taking. And if you find that, you know, you are in strategies other than the ones that I mentioned, which is the ultra short term, the low duration and the short duration fund. Firstly, you need to question as to whether I need to be in this strategy. Secondly, even in these three strategies, look at the funds that you hold, see what are their returns versus the category average over a longer period of time, um, evaluate what is their credit risk, which is what is the type of bonds that they are holding, and then decide. Please feel free to write into us on our social media pages. We'll be very happy to answer your queries and address your concerns as well. Till then, good day.